to a store and we have an amazing recipe now yes. because we've talked all about the squash. We know what we're doing. We right. know what to use as, you know, sort of a holder. Right. That's what you're going to be using with use this squash. A vessel. The I'm going to stuff a buttercup. Okay, but first we're going to do the filling. Yes, so I've got some onion so cooking. Good. And then uh, you can do vegetarian if you want, but this is, yeah, go for it. Uh, this is uh, this is pork sausage that I'm going to, but what, what you do, the reason I'm wearing gloves is that you would wash your hands at home, yeah. is that you squeeze, it's called bung. You're squeezing it out of the bung. Oh, isn't that great? Oh, <laughs> Ew. 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 So you're going to brown that and break that up, and you'd wash your hands before and after whenever you touch. Well, Should I be doing cooking. this? Yeah, like you do that. Up? You keep breaking that up, okay. okay? And I'm going to cut this buttercup squash. Now, oh, man. here's the trick when you stuff anything. Now, the reason a lot of people stuff acorn squashes, but I wanted to make this a full meal deal. Right. So that's that's one per person. So this is for two. So okay. feel free to double or quadruple whatever. Just get a bigger pot. Right. So for it to sit flat on the pan, you have to use a big knife and cut off the stalk. Yeah. So try to do this you know, as straight as you can. Skip your workout and just go straight for the squash. Go right for the squash. Because yeah, it's Seriously, works. it is work. It's work. Okay, Biceps. and you don't want to lose a hand, so, oh dear Lord. Don't lose a On hand On television, there. I'm so, di oh, I'm wrecking that. Let's forget I did it. Okay, so, <laughs> that, uh, the pressure of television is making me scared. It's terrible, isn't okay, it? Okay, so here's my idea. You go like this. That's your idea? That's your, That's your big idea? just goofing around anyway so so then then you're gonna you're gonna take out and the reason I like the the buttercup is very rich and deep and do you know I used to do a show called Harris in the Country Life and stuff like that would happen on the video they go cut and I go that's real yeah keep that's it real. real keep it going that's because this is actually real. this is what's going to be happening in my kitchen that's when I try right. it okay so exactly yeah. that so you're gonna hollow that out and stick it under on foil or parchment paper uh, I'm gonna marry parchment paper if I ever marry again because you love it it does it you know I haven't wash that pan in 20 years. <laughs> anyway, so. <laughs> anyway, all right, you got to smash that up a bit more. Keep That's smashing. That's hot. Okay, but I was getting hot. Okay, all right. It's all that steam. All hot in the kitchen. Anyway, and then you're going to add plum tomatoes. Okay, mm. now, these are the fresh ones. You can use canned if you want, but don't. Okay. Um, okay, I, I really want you to use, because they're do in it. season right now. Yeah. And you want some, fresh. you don't really cost. You want the large babies, so those are two large plums. Um, these are local as well. Yeah, this is all local. Okay, good. and then uh, and then if you don't want to use the sausage, uh, yeah. this is the this is the one uh, you could always use that veggie product, that veggie ground for sure. Okay. Mix it up, mix it up, and you then, know your audience. Yeah, <laughs> it, exactly. And then we're going to use some black beans. Okay, now the, I love this irresistible product. It's got no salt at all. That's the French side. No salt added, mm -hmm. and so you, you still want to rinse them off. You add that in there, stir it up. Okay. And oh, I'm so short, even with my high heels on. <laughs> and then this is my secret ingredient. It's chipotle chili powder. Ooh, I love chipotle anyway. Oh. And it's really, flavor. really smoky and spicy. Now, if you taste this before it goes into the squash, you're going to go, Marilyn lost her mind. It's too spicy. No. But what happens is that uh, the, the, the squash is actually going to pick up a lot of that spice. Yeah. And it kind of neutralizes it. And then you're going to heap it. Mm -hmm. So this would go into two, including the one that fell on the floor. And, that's Scott's uh, on the ground. That's Scott's. Yeah. And then you would bake it in the oven. So you, you scoop it up like that. So it's got to be heaping. Yeah. And you put it on the tray. And then you cover it in tin foil. And you bake it for anywhere between an hour and an hour, 30 minutes, depending on how big the buttercup was. Okay. Okay, and then at the last five minutes, you take that off and cheese. you sprinkle cheese, Monterey Jack, yeah. and then you, you finish it up, and then you go, dinner's ready, and you eat the whole thing. That's so good. Oh. That looks amazing. And it's so healthy for you because there's beta carotene in the squash, you've got your fruits and vegetables, you've got protein from the bean and from the sausage, and if you don't like that, then you have a problem. <laughs> yes. As a matter of fact, if you love it, yes. Marilyn's Fall Recipes, you're going to love the show tomorrow. We've got the three chefs here, oh, your boys. My boys. It's all about the harvest, and Chef Parsons is going to visit a local farm. You will see that as well. Let's go to break. Come on.